we are here with a special, special guest, Miss Diana Flores. I got a chance to work with her on the Super Bowl commercial as well. What's the play? I got this. Housekeeping? You gotta go higher. What do you think are the biggest misconceptions when it comes to flag football? Misconceptions? Yes. The first one, flag football is for boys. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it is for every everyone. Like It is such an inclusive sport. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you can find a place in the field in flag football. Um, it is fun to play. It is fun to watch. It is creative. It is about speed. It is about agility. Um, then I could say that comes to the next one, like flag football, um, undergrade way to play football, if that makes sense, the way <laughs> I said it. Like, yeah, football is a real sport, like flag football. That's for the people that couldn't make it to football. I've heard that. And no, um, I mean, the essence is pretty much is the same, of course, because we use a football, because we have similar rules, because the essence is the same. You want to score touchdowns. Um, but it is so different one of the other at the same time. I feel that flag football is more about, yeah, speed. We have a smaller field, which is 50 yards um, with 30 yards wide 50 yards long mm -hmm. which doesn't give you pretty much a lot of room to run long routes and you have to go faster you have to be more agile i could say on the field you have to think i would say faster also and have more body control in terms of you cannot hit the opponent you cannot go and just it is not a matter of strength it is a matter of creativity and go. yeah, I feel that's another big misconception there. And yeah, I'm just happy that this sport has grown so much that now people can see um, the true essence of it and the greatness of it. What would you say has happened since the presence of having more women play flag football? Um, what has happened? It has changed everything. Um, when I was little, when I was an eight-year-old girl, I never dreamed to leave everything that I'm living right now. And not because I didn't want it to, but it was not a possibility. Um, playing at the World Games. Um, I had the opportunity at, that, at my time to get um, flag football scholarship in Mexico City, but it was not a thing. You know, it was it was not common. Right now, we have more scholarships in Mexico City here in the states. It is becoming a sanctioned sport in more and more states here in the U.S. And I hope that it keeps spreading and growing like that because it it just opened new opportunities for the girls to dream bigger, but also to achieve their dreams, not only on the field as athletes, but also of the field as professionists, as whatever they want to be. They ju it, this just gives you possibilities to dream of different futures or brighter futures, bigger futures. And I feel that's the biggest and most important part of this, um, to build opportunities, to build platforms and to give the voice to the next generations of female leaders out there. That's awesome. I know we talked about there's the World Cup in Finland where Mexico City is going to win again. But <laughs> what about the Olympic sport? Uh, there's been a lot of talk about flag football becoming an Olympic sport. How do you feel about that? It is a dream come true. I mean, there is no bigger stage that an athlete can dream to be at. You know, the Olympic Games... I, I'm pretty sure we all grew up watching the Olympics. Uh, I did. Um, I have to say that at, at one point, I wanted to change sports to track 
just because it was an Olympic sport. I tried it. I like track. I mean, track, yes. Uh, 100 meters, 200. Yes, I like it. I couldn't just swipe sports. Club <laughs> is my love. So I, I, I just couldn't. I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to stick to this. And even if I don't go to the Olympics. Um, but then the dream came true. Um, and it is not only my dream, it is a dream of all the flag football community worldwide for many, many athletes that love football too, to have a chance to have the opportunity to represent our countries there, to see your flag there, to bring an Olympic medal to, to, to your country. Um, and that's just the beginning, I think. As I said, I feel that's the game changer that will open new new roads for for the next generations of athletes mm -hmm. that we're going to be able to become professional at this one day that we'll be able to make a living while playing the sport they love and that's also that's also the dream too like i feel that will come from this big 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 step mm -hmm. i hope so too